Yeah, yeah. Whoa, I'm so pretty and he like that. When he get it up, he deep inside that kitty cat. Hey guys, it's your girl Tanika Mong. That's T I N E K E. Don't forget the word dash I M A N. They say I'm too pretty to be spitting 16. I should be on the screen, posing for Maybelline. Or be a baby set curl, kitten on my jeans. Hood star, broad, black barber, dog. Pop me if the cut in his bar three jaw. I'm just. Carry on. And today's video, I'm showing you how I got these jumbo kind of braids. Did it myself. They're super, 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 super long. Um, they go all the way down to my thighs. Um, so pass my bum to my thighs. So I'm going to show you a video. I'm going to do a voiceover of how I got them. But this is the finished look. Um, I did use one pack of hair. It's like a jumbo pack. So I've got it here. I forgot to do it before I start to use it. But it's from the Janet collection. And it is this so it's a janet collection value pack if i can find a picture of how it actually came i will insert it like here but it's the value pack from the janet section um comes like this it's 56 inches it's pre-stretched because i've got not have not got time to be stretching the hair the overall look took me about five hours i think um so i've got time to be stretching hair so it comes pre-stretched and it was the color it was ombre so it was 1b and 27 so i'm just washing the keisha cole like if you saw my you'll see my video next next week where i'm actually watching it properly but yeah i'm just keep seeing if they come on anyway come pre-stretched this um is 1b and then it goes down into 27 at the end so just got like little highlights um so it says five pieces get one three so you get six pieces and i kind of used all the six pieces i had like the smallest bit left over um so i literally had this much left over so this is how it comes let me just open it up so the bundle will look like this and then it's already pre-stretched for you okay okay and so this is kind of like half a bundle ish half a quarter of a bundle um but yes yeah, so i did i used it my whole hair um yeah so we're gonna watch my little clip that i did and i'll do a voiceover hey guys so um as you can see my hair was pre-parted um and i'm using the gummy styling wax extra hold um and i'm gonna put that along my edges um or along the perimeter of the boxes um i put the styling wax in the middle of the part as well just to help get a cleaner part at the front not gonna lie my parts were a bit rubbish this time round because i was actually going to start with a different style i wanted to do um bandu knots and then halfway through decided to keep his braids so my parts were a bit rubbish so that's why i haven't really shown you my parts right now i'm just braiding my hair just to get it out of the way for when i start to crochet add, add in a bit more wax not wax yeah wax or gel i don't know and then i add a rubber band around it this part is optional um, but I did it just to make it a little bit more tighter, but it is optional, it depends how much tension you want on your head. But I didn't really wrap it that tight, um, I literally just wrapped around twice. Um, so I parted my hair into three sections, just how I make it go long. Insert my crochet needle, hook it on, pull it through, and then I loop it on, make sure it's nice and tight. So after I unbraided my hair, I sectioned the braiding hair into three and also my hair was already sectioned into three because it just came out of braids and then paired them up and then I started to braid. Try and keep your braids tight. Um, some of my braids did get quite loose. So when you do see it in more tight, it does get a little bit loose, um, but they're still in at the moment. So, you know, it weren't that bad. Now to help blend my hair in with the braiding hair, I'm using the Murray's Black um, Pure Australian Beeswax to help seal the ends and it also conditions my hair um, just so it's got a little bit of protection while it's in this style. So as you can see when I pull it on it just makes the hair sticky so then it sticks to the braiding hair so it doesn't frizz out as much. Now this part when I feed in the next 
part of the hair i've slowed it down but i'm not the best at this so i can't really explain it i just kind of went for it and guessed i don't really know how to explain how to feed in hair but if you you can either watch it over and over again but i kind of like looped it around and then entwined it and started braiding again it's not the best way to do it because you can see that it's been added in but you know it had to be done <laughs> see again you see i just looped it around and then continue braiding i'm not a professional so that's why you know i can't do it properly but it lasts and it gives it that little bohemian raggedy look so oh well see because it's so long i had to hold it in my mouth a bit ratchet but you know so i can get braided all the way to the end my hands were hurting i was hungry like it was half past one in the morning i was hungry my chia pudding So exactly the same on all the hair, um, I braid it, add in the beeswax to seal it and then I add my extra feeding part. So I do one part at the top, then as I finish my own hair, I add an extra feeding part and then I do a little bit more and then as I get closer to the end, I don't let it get too thin, when it gets to the end I add the third piece in. So again, all of the edge control on your um, parts, that is optional, it's up to you, depends how tight, sleek looking you want your hair to look. I like that sleek look, but if you wanted that bohemian look, you don't have to have it. Um, but again, I braided it first, so it left a little gap at the big, at the front of the hair so I can crochet it in and then I just added a rubber band at the top of the braid plait whatever just to keep it a little bit tight so again there's my bundles I split it into three sections one two and three crochet needle in and then I put it through put it through the loop and put on it to make sure it's tight section the hair and then add that onto my own hair and then start parading. So yeah, I slowed this bit down for you guys so you can see. But it's really simple, I'll just part it three ways equally. But yeah, as you can see, don't come for me, my parts weren't equal at all, but I don't really care. I was tired, my back was hurting. Oh look, there's Nikki. Oh, and if anyone watched my last video, my January buys, as you can see, my nails are off. So yeah, it worked. So the, um, after I sealed it with water, hot water, I put mousse on it at night just to um, seal the top of the hair because I can't really put hot water on top of my head, can I? And I just tie it with my do-rag and go to sleep because I was tired and I did accessories all in the morning okay guys and this is the finished look as um, you can tell so if I just stand up I just put some accessories in there if I stand up oh you see what Beyonce stand up that's how long it goes like literally you can't see it in the camera it goes past my buttocks um yes 
come on I'm a bit light now make me dark again um but anyway um yeah so after I did all my hair and everything I did the trim sealed it in hot water and little accessories and this is like a week later I was actually so tired after so I didn't film after and then during the weekday I just got too busy so this is like five days after I actually filmed this that I'm filming the ending um, but yes yeah, so they're still holding up now my partings are not the best because when I first started thinking about doing this hairstyle I'm gonna do bandu knots I wanted to do if you know Diera, Diera had bandu knots over, um, over like last week I'll insert a picture and I really wanted to do them so I started to part it like that and then when I did like the first plait and I kept going I made that really long I was like I don't think I want bandu knots anymore. I think I just really want really long bohemian locks. Um, not locks, bohemian braids. So I've just kept them long. I normally have them out or I tie it like this for work so it's not in my face. Um, I have oh, I have two braids up and then I put this in like a ponytail so it's like kind of that side of vibes. Um, but yeah, they're, they don't get in my way. They're really light. Like they're super, super super light um yeah i think that is it if you want to know details on my makeup look that was um that will be out next week so you guys get a preview now um but yeah so any questions you have dm me on instagram at tanique roman or comment down below keisha cole is on right now but my next video will be right there and subscribe right there it's not an icy girl year it's an icy girl decade you feel me I know that's right, and never ever motherfucking wrong. Don't play with it, stay with it, little mama.